Hello YouTube, here we are again. In today's episode, we're going to Wenatchee. Going to a Walmart in Wenatchee. And for some reason I seem to have completely forgotten where I am. We are in Aberdeen. Aberdeen. We are taking this nice scenic route over multiple highways. Interesting route. We're not going very far. Um, and being that we're not going very far, it's obviously not going to be a very long video, so I won't put you through the torture of sitting here for 45 minutes to watch me drive all the way across the map. We're only going that far. So we're, we're picking up over here at this, well now with, with the mod that replaces the uh, businesses with real names. We're going from Walgreens to Walmart over here. In Wenatchee. Alright. So. Look at the pretty truck. Isn't it pretty? Alright. Get moving. Double trailers. Rocky Mountain Double. Full size 53 foot in the front. And a short. Probably 36 foot in the rear. <laughs> I had to blow the horn. You gotta blow the horn. Look at that long trailer in the mirror. Look at that. Alright, here we go. This beautiful 359 we got from RTA Mods. And first shot right out of the box, we get stuck in traffic. Awesome. Come on. There we go. There's a train out in the track. Keep left. And then turn left. Keep left and then turn left. Okay. Not turn taking left. down the sign. Watching the mirror. I know, I went on the sidewalk. I believe I'm supposed to go that way. Back up the car uh, Yeah. Alright, forward. Green, we're going, we're going, we're going. Hey, it's red, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, it turned green. Oh, no. Here we go. It's red, we're going, we're going, we're going.
believe I mentioned I was going to uh, go to a shop and upgrade to an 18 speed transmission. I still have not gotten around to doing that, obviously, quite yet. So. I'll get to it. I'll get to it eventually. Just give me time. I'll get it. Maybe I'll do that in Wenatchee when I get there. Maybe. Maybe I'll do it there. Beautiful scenery though.
left. Smoking Washington. Keep right. I don't know why, I just like saying things completely wrong. Oh. Keep Take right. I don't know what it's 
just like to put one of these down the road, this is probably Keep your left. best option. The then side turn road. left. Left. I don't know, about the only way I can think to say it is completely disowning anything and everything that you know and accepting truck driving as your new current permanent lifestyle. Lifestyle as a, an actual over-the-road truck driver is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's not for the faint of heart. Um, depending on what company you, you start working for and how much you're getting paid and what kind of truck you're driving. You know, there's so many factors that go into actually being a professional truck driver and you know it, it might be just the absolute best possible thing for some people and, and then again on the flip side of it it could be the absolute worst possible option for some people um, you know if you really just don't want to give up your current lifestyle and every possible thing about it to drive a truck professionally then playing this game is the best possible option for you um, I miss Driving. My mission is to protect well, you. Come with riding. me if you want to live. There's, there's many times in my usual daily life that I'm just like, man, I wish I could just hop in a truck and go six or seven hundred miles down the road today. I can't do that anymore. That's, that's not the way my life is right now. I've got a wife and three kids, and three dogs and two cats, mortgage and car payments and everything. You know, I can't just pick up and, well, necessarily drop everything that I'm doing and just go ride around the country shotgun in a tractor trailer a month or two months and expect to be able to pay on my bill. I just, just can't do that without it. And I love trucks. I love tractor trailers. That's why I was kind of really excited when uh, this game came out and I found it. And I was like, oh my god, I get to be a truck driver. This is awesome. And then I started playing it and I just kind of fell in love with it. Oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. I get to kind of get it out of my system, so to speak. Over the road driving, just adventuring to different towns. It's, it is, on one hand, a really amazing, wonderful adventure lifestyle.
especially if you wind up in a company and you've got a crappy truck. You know, it's it's not exciting. You get to drive down the road and stop at truck stops. That's that's what your real lifestyle is going to be as a professional, real life over the road truck driver. You get to see truck stops. truck stop in one town, sorry to say, is going to be 90% exactly the same okay. Turn right. in the next town. It's just, you're not getting a whole lot of variety. Turn right. And there's three or four different styles of truck stops. Three different companies, three or four different companies. Uh, TA, Flying J, Pilot, Gloves. There's probably a couple others, and then you're spotted throughout the country. Little mom and pops truck stops that are, you know, quaint and homey and comfortable, wonderful, beautiful. And then you get some of them that are mom and pops, and they're just like, y'all don't make enough to upgrade any of this, really? It's kind of sad. But it does add variety to the lifestyle. I'm not saying it's a right. bad lifestyle. Then I'm just saying right. that it's, I insist. it is definitely not for everybody. Exit right, I insist. It's for a very select few. The closest you're going to get and the most excitement that you're going to get out of being a truck driver is right here on this game. So if you want to be a, a banker by day and in the evening, when you get an hour or so of all the time that you can just sit and keep right, play a video game, then turn right. This is your best option, and this is actually a very wonderful option. I mean, I would, turn right. Uh, a friend of mine plays this game occasionally, and he's never been over the road in an actual tractor trailer, and he just absolutely loves this game. And I've done my best to explain to him that you, you got to be just the right person to take on driving a tractor trailer for okay, a turn profession. Left. And turn left. He understands, and he knows, and he agrees. You have arrived. What a little Vista, bit of this baby. game that he does actually play, he really enjoys it. So, to kind of fill the void, or uh, fill the gap that actually driving one of these in real life fills. Playing this on a video game is the best possible option. So, anyway, I'm done ranting. I'm sure you just want to see me finish this load and move on, take my money, and go on with it. So I made $10,000 off of that. I spent 12000 putting the transmission in. So in all essence on that load, I actually lost money. So, oh well, I actually lost two grand. What that put me down to 125. Well, three grand, 2,500, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, 
we leveled up, we got some upgrades. Let's let it load. There we go. Some arrow covers, some side skirts for the trailers, cooler for the reefers, axle options. I don't know. I may and I may not actually buy a trailer. Um, once I get built up to the point where um, I have enough money to buy another truck. Let's let this thing load. I know I just told it to do something. It's deciding what it's going to do. There we go. Okay, we loaded. So... Um, Bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Alright. Anyway, once I get some money built up and I buy the extra garage slots and then I build up some more money where I can buy another truck. Let's see, I'll show you here. Let's kind of give you a, a teaser so to speak, if you want to call it that way. I'll access the mod dealer. Oh, it's not on here. Oh, Kenworth. There it is. Mod dealer Peterbilt Kenworth. This one right here. Kenworth W900A Day Cab. See, we can select this one. I'll go ahead and give you a little teaser sample of what we can do here. Go ahead and... No, that's awful. That's kind of awful. It's about awful. Let's go with the double bunk. That gives us a little bit more space. Alright. Let's see, where is it? No. See this Bandit 2017? That puts this Bandit trucking badge on the side of it. See, in the movie, they didn't have that. That's awful. There it is. Bandit. Bandit Edition. No logo on the side. There you go. Bandit Edition truck. Eventually, one of these days, I will have another garage slot. Because I don't want to sell the truck that I've got. I want to keep it. But I also want to buy this truck and customize it like this and drive this one for a little while. Um, I've got some other ones. I'll show you later in another video. I'll do a full customization of this truck and I'll go through all these different skins and, and show you what all we got and what it all looks like and everything. But uh, I want to buy this truck separate from the one that I'm driving now and drive it for a little while and then build up some money and actually buy the trailer that would obviously properly match this truck. Which I'll just go ahead and leave here. And I'll leave out of here. We'll let it load. Okay. Then we'll leave out of there. And we'll go to trailer purchase. Alright. Dry van. Do we have 53 foot? There we go. Okay. Smoky trailer. There it is. See, I have the mods installed. I have them available. 
I can get this trailer. I can get the truck. I can get the trailer. The truck itself. Maybe 80,000. The trailer, another 80,000. So I need like 160 grand or more, depending on what engine option I put in the truck. And I'll be able to drive around Smokey and the Bandit and sing terribly the Smokey and the Bandit theme song. Which everybody knows was Jerry Reed, which was actually Snowman, the singer. Of the song was actually the truck driver of the movie. Bet you didn't know that little nugget of information there, did you? Yes, we want to cancel all modifications. So anyway, you've seen it, you know, now you know. I have it, it's available, I'm working up to it. I will make a video about the full customization of that entire setup one of these days but for now you're just gonna have to deal with what we got until we can build up our money and get the whole setup because I want to do that on this profile and not just my other profile that has a whole bunch of money I want to do that on this profile that way we can get it and put it in our garage which currently we are a tiny size garage with one truck out of one slot. We have no other slots open and the upgrade costs $180,000 just to get two more slots available to put two more trucks in. Doesn't include buying the truck. So got to get this cute $125,000 up to $180,000. And every day we're paying $3,000 on our loan payments. So, we're working up to it. We're getting there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'll shut up now. I should make you happy. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more, click subscribe and ring the little notification bell and if you want to leave a comment of any kind I'm open to suggestions comments critiques criticism or whatever uh, let me know what you think anyways we'll catch you on the flip side have a good one. bye